John, very emotional reaction in court. The victim in this case was anxiously shaking before she even walked in the courtroom. She sat next to her mother and sister and had to be consoled several times as the verdicts were read aloud. Uh, as that first verdict came up, there wasn't a noticeable response. This is the verdict uh, regarding uh, the uh, defendant using a computer to lure a minor. He started crying when the guilty verdict was uh, called out. But the more visceral emotional reaction was seen almost immediately after when the verdicts regarding aggravated sexual assault uh, were called out. The victim in the case visibly overwhelmed with emotion. Uh, her mom and sister kind of put their arms over her shoulder. She started crying profusely. Uh, and then the tables kind of turned again uh, as they read out the misdemeanor sexual assault uh, verdicts. Owen Labrie himself became overwhelmed with emotion. He hunched over and started crying. I had to be consoled by his attorney, uh, Jay Carney. Uh, once all the verdicts were read, Owen Labrie turned to his father. He also shared a moment with his mother. They didn't expect this clearly by their emotional reaction. They did not expect him uh, to be convicted. Uh, as for the victim, a spokesperson has said that she can now walk out of here with her head held high. Uh, a spokesperson held a press briefing right after uh, the decisions were made, and they said the following, quote, This conviction requires him to take ownership for his actions and gives him opportunity to reflect upon the harm he has caused. We still feel betrayed that the St. Paul School allowed and fostered a toxic culture that left our daughter and other students at risk to sexual violence. We trusted the school to protect her, and it failed us, end quote. There's been a lot of strong testimony against the St. Paul School. John, you may expect a civil suit to follow this criminal case. And that language seems to indicate we almost definitely will. So what is next for Owen Labrie? Well, his sentencing is set for October 29th. He is out on $15,000 bail. He has a curfew between uh, 5 p.m. and 8 a.m. that he has to follow. He has to check in with law enforcement officers uh, routinely. Uh, another note, he will have to register as a sex offender. That title will follow him for life. He can appeal it after 15 years, but again, that appeal process is difficult. Uh, his attorney also said this is something that will follow him forever. He had plans to go to Harvard uh, after high school and study divinity. Obviously, his plans uh, may have to change after this, John.